City of Portland rules prohibit food service establishments such as your kitchen from discharging fats, oils, or grease into the sewer system. Installing and properly maintaining a grease removal device is the best way to comply with the code. In a kitchen with a grease removal device, wastewater that contains fats, oils, and grease goes down a sink, dishwasher, floor drain, or other plumbing fixture and flows into the grease removal device. Food particles settle to the bottom, while fats, oils, and grease float to the top. The device's internal baffles block the floating fats, oils, and grease from leaving the device. Oregon Plumbing Code requires all new food service establishments to install an approved grease removal device. In some cases, existing businesses may also need to install a grease removal device. You can install a grease removal device inside kitchen and prep areas or outdoors. It must be installed in a place that is easy and safe to access for inspection and maintenance. The plumbing code requires all plumbing fixtures in food or beverage preparation areas to be connected to a grease removal device. This includes all sinks, dishwashers, and floor drains, and even kitchen work areas like walk stations. The grease removal device must be the proper size for the number of plumbing fixtures connected to it. To keep your grease removal device working properly, it must be cleaned regularly. If the layers of floating fats, oils, and grease and settled food inside the device become too thick, the grease removal device may begin to fail and bypass grease into the sewer. City staff routinely inspects all grease removal devices. During an inspection, the city inspector will check the grease removal device, measure the amount of fats, oils, and grease and food particles in it, and assess its physical condition. Based on the amount of fats, oils, grease, and solids that have accumulated in the device, the inspector will determine how often your grease removal device must be cleaned. It is important to clean the device on schedule to keep it working properly. Businesses often hire a preferred pumper to maintain the grease removal device. Preferred pumpers are regionally recognized companies who professionally clean and maintain grease removal devices for businesses. If you use a preferred pumper, the pumper will coordinate the mandatory inspections, cleanings, and cleaning reports for your business. If the food service establishment cleans its own grease removal device, the owner will need to schedule inspections and report cleanings to the city regularly. Regardless of who maintains the device, both self-cleaners and those who use preferred pumpers must meet the same required cleaning and reporting standards. To make sure a grease removal device is properly cleaned, begin by making sure access to the device's lid is unobstructed. If access is blocked, clear the work area. Remove the device's lid. Some grease removal devices have an inspection port on the outlet to let you view water flowing from the device. If your device is equipped with this port, check to see if fats, oils, or grease are leaving the device. If fats, oils, or grease are leaving the device, it must be indicated on the report form. Check bolts or other locking mechanisms to be sure they are working well. Check the lid gasket for damage. Replace it if necessary. Using a wet vacuum, evacuate the grease removal device by skimming back and forth across the surface from the top to the bottom of the device. As you empty the device, estimate and record the thickness of the floating fats, oils, and grease layer, and the thickness of the settled food particles or solids layer. Remove the internal baffles and clean them in a sink. The sink you use to do this also must be connected to a grease removal device. Scrape down all sides of the device to remove remaining grease buildup. Use a wet vacuum to evacuate the grease removal device again. Empty the wet vacuum contents into an approved barrel for storing fats, oils, and grease. Replace the components. Fill the grease removal device with clean water until the bottom of the outlet baffle is submerged. This is what the device will look like when properly cleaned. Replace and secure the lid. Food service establishments must regularly report cleanings by filling out and submitting a pump-out form to the city. The form records the specific details of each cleaning. This is an important step because it lets the city know your business is meeting its required cleaning and maintenance schedule. If a preferred pumper maintains your grease removal device, the pumper will complete and submit your cleaning forms. Finally, the city requires both self-cleaners and preferred pumpers to use an approved handling facility to dispose of the fats, oils, and grease removed from a device. For more information on this, check the city's website. The city may issue fines for failing to install, clean, maintain, or repair a grease removal device. The city may also fine businesses for failing to report cleanings. 
City rules also prohibit using things like chemicals, emulsifiers, enzymes, and bacteria to break up fats, oils, and grease in or upstream of a grease removal device. These substances allow grease to pass through the grease removal device and into the public sewer system, where it can build up and cause blockages. If you have questions about maintaining a grease removal device, call the city's Fats Oil and Grease Hotline at 503-823-7093.